deep breath, deep breath, everybody. Clear your throat chakra, let's go. <laughs> Do you know about your throat chakra? Do you know that it's the powerful conduit between your heart and your mind, between your heart and your crown chakra? Do you know that that's a really important thing to do to clear for telepathy? Clear your throat chakra. All right, little pro tip leading off the reading today. Pro tip. All right, let's see where we go. Cleansing waters. Joy and delight. Ah, this is very lovely light energy. Taking shelter, the answers are within. So um, I'll talk more about intuition and telepathy as it relates to twin flames because I think some of you are either you're not uh, able to tap into it or you're not understanding how you're able to tap into it because you are. And um, the fastest way to open your intuition is to clear that throat chakra. It is the conduit between the heart and the mind, the heart and the higher chakras. We'll talk more about the eighth and ninth chakra because those are your connection to spirits, spirit guide, your higher self, and the higher self you share with the twin. So a little bit of information there to lead off the reading. I am seeing that this is a little bit of fate, um, fate and destiny uh, lending a hand right this moment. I don't feel like you need to do anything, even though we've had Mars go re go direct this week. Uh, the thing you need to do is to be in your creativity, be in your joy. That's also part of expressing your fifth chakra. Look at that. Underneath is the Two of Cups. So this is Divine Feminine energy here. Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, Empress, Strength, Lovers, wow. Five of Pentacles, Justice. Okay. Um, I'm going to clarify that Five of Pentacles, please, before I say anything. <laughs> okay. So some of you are walking away or are getting off the path. All right. Some of you are getting off your path. You're not really seeing the path. You're not sure what to do next. Um, I do see lots of good things happening right here. But I also feel like some of you are going to have a reconnection with the twin divine feminine and you're going to walk you're like no 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 I don't want that to happen I'm not interested in having that person show up in my life it's only been pain and suffering and all of this even though you are super strong look at this queen of pentacles nine of pentacles beautiful energy of uh empowerment um this is the situation so there's a nice offer coming in from the divine masculine can be from a soulmate um, in addition, some of you are choosing to move off the path of twin flame and um, there's a possibility that you're choosing a different person here. Okay, so Taurus and Libra, Leo, Gemini, there's Libra again. Libra is the energy of intimate relationships. Leo is about power and strength and it's also about sex and fun, fifth house energy. The lovers is I'm making a decision here. Um, this feels to me like there's a, a reconnection or union, and then there's a moving off on the path. All right? There's a moving off on your path. It's off your path. It's off your twin flame path here. Divine Feminine, what is going on? Let's check out what's happening for the Divine Masculine, and then I'll pull cards for the connection. All right? So, okay. What I'm feeling here is there's a, 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 a trigger, some kind of trigger about self-worth, um, self-confidence. I see a lot of it here, but then in the outcome, I'm seeing that you're not trusting it. You're not trusting the universe, not trusting your, um, your guides, not trusting what you're being empowered to do, not trusting it. What the heck, Divine Feminine? Okay, Six of Pentacles. All right, sorry about that. So Six of Pentacles is showing up here underneath for Divine Masculine. I've got the Moon. I've got the Tower. Wow. Five of Pentacles. What is going on here? Let's see. Sun, King of Pentacles, <laughs> Hermit, and the outcome is the Five of Wands. Okay, so we've definitely got some fives here. There's some um, movement. There's some 
kind of like um, leveling of a current situation. This is being drawn in by fear, okay? So the divine masculine is having a lot of fear and fear around money, fear around anything. The fastest way to stop your intuition from working is fear. It's a block, right? It's a massive block. So I like this actually because I feel like we're blowing apart this lower vibration, this um, feeling of a lack of worth, kind of getting rid of that, which I really like. Let's blow that apart because what comes next is this sun, king of pentacles, and the hermit. This is the same um, lantern, right? It's like you're shining a light on what makes you happy, what makes you stable, what makes you feel good, all the king of pentacles energy, that beautiful energy of um, generosity and spending time, consistency, all of that. There's definitely some kind of struggle here. The five of wands showing up to me too, he, too as well. Um, I like the cards that are underneath because this tells me the intention of the two people. So the intention of the feminine is the two of cups, which is about let's start, you know, sort of moving forward together. Let's make a plan, whatever. I almost feel like the, um, we're close to <clears throat> having some kind of solution here, not just union, but like what then what's next, what comes after that? Because it's not, that's not really at all <laughs> what the twin flame connection's about. The twin flame connection is about service. And if you're kind of stuck in these lower vibrational feelings, the five of pentacles showing up twice here, um, walking away on a different path, it's about self-esteem, self-awareness, self-confidence, uh, and just losing all of that, like for some reason, like really fast, there's a loss of that. The good news is I like the, the energy here of what's to come because that does feel really positive to me. So even though we've got the five of pentacles here, let's just see what the energy is of the connection because that is like super bizarre. <laughs> that is super bizarre. Um, all right, what's the energy of this connection, please? I almost feel like the feminine is like, I'm not worthy of this or I'm, that doesn't make any sense to me, divine feminine, because you have this empress, this strength and this choice. You have a lot going for you here, a lot of stability king and queen of pentacles this is something that can come together as a long-term partnership um a marriage so underneath for the twin flame connection is the three of wands hanged man ten of swords ten of wands five of cups six of wands magician fool okay we definitely are on some kind of new path here there's been an obstruction, whatever it is, there's been an obstruction between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Five of Pentacles is a, is a sense of, I mean, wounded ego, <laughs> a little bit of wounded ego. Wounded ego is when you are peppered with messages of lack and scarcity mentality and things like that. So there's almost like a too good to be true feeling here. There's a, I can't believe this is happening. And so fear jumps in and takes over. We really have to release this whole part of the journey. We have to complete this cycle. Okay. So talk to me about this five of pentacles, please. We have the five of cups down here. So five of, no five of swords though. Empress, Two of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this is about not knowing the worth and value of this connection, mostly because it's so freaking big that it might terrify the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine is having a hard time holding her higher vibration. All right, we're having a really hard time with that. And I just feel like there is, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way when I'm saying wounded ego, because we all have ego, right? And when we have wounded ego, it can be triggers from the past. It can be things that happened to us in childhood that get triggered. Twin flame is famous 
for triggering childhood wounds. All right, that's kind of the point. It's part of the point. So the childhood wound, this, this cycle that we need to complete is the energy of either this isn't good enough or I'm not going to see them, I'm blocking them, something like that. There's just this blocking energy and we're not able to get to the next level, just not able to push through it, despite the fact that the Empress and the Temperance card and the Queen of Cups, we're just having this two of swords. So there can be a lack of understanding or a lack of um, awareness of the connection. So I am going to talk a little bit about this fifth chakra energy, because if you are having any kind of blocked communication, I know we have Mercury retrograde until next week. All right. I get that. And so that can be kind of part of this is that there's actually like a, a, a you know, an astrological thing that's happening and it can um, throw it's almost like salt in a gas tank. So like things can't move along. Now this five of pentacles makes me feel like there's something stuck here that needs clearing for the masculine. It looks like fear for the feminine. It looks like self-confidence. Um, I just feel like there's a, an, an opportunity really to come together in a long-term way, in a long-term way. We're missing the 10 of pentacles. All right. We're missing the 10 of pentacles but we have the King of Pentacles. So these two tens, we're missing the two happy tens. We're missing the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. And I'm just feeling that there's so much focus on loss or stuck or the feminine feels really strong to me. The Empress strength, the lovers, I'm standing here in my power. I'm manifesting um, the love of my life. I'm manifesting my twin flame back. But then when it happens, everybody freaks out. <laughs> Everybody freaks out. This is, all right. So I said to you, I would look at look into timing. So this is happening. 8 days. 8 days to tune up your intuitive sense, to clear your throat chakra because your throat chakra connects your heart and your higher um your connection to spirit, your higher self, your, your connection has been cut. Connection has been severed. It can be not with the twin, but the connection to spirit can be, can be blocked because of fear. Now this eight of wands is all about communication. So it does feel to me like when Mercury goes retrograde, we're going to have a chance to reconnect here in a better way on a brand new path. All right, on a brand new path. I'm just feeling like there's some miscommunication here. It's possible that the masculine um, doesn't show up when they say they're going to show up. The masculine does something that triggers the feminine. Feminine feels very strong to me. And the masculine is doing something that is kind of like knocking everything offline or blocking the connection. And there's so much work moving around to get you guys together that we're going to, we're going to really study what it is that is knocking this offline for the masculine. I see fear. So I'm going to dive into that for the feminine. I see the self-confidence issue, but let's figure out what it's going to take to move away from that block because we have really good energy uh, in the future here to get together, to actually get on a new path. So let's get on a new path. All right. So if you want to continue on with this, I'll pull cards for each individual Zodiac so you can see what's going on with your particular twin. And also I am going to um, figure out how to get out of this <laughs> so we can go in a better direction. All right, you guys, there's a link below if you want to continue on with me uh, in this reading. I will see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.